Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mina and today's video is going to be a recommendation video. I am going to be giving you guys all of my recommendations for Halloween, for autumn. I'm going to be talking about all of the spooky and creepy books that I think would be perfect for this time of year. You guys know that I am a horror and thriller lover all year round, so I do read those genres even when it's not the Halloween season. However, if you are not somebody who typically reads horror or thrillers and you would like something kind of creepy or kind of weird to read during this time of year, I have some really great recommendations for you. There are so many like amazing horror books and even thrillers that I would love to just like tell you guys, but I narrowed it down to some of the more like recent ones that I've read and also just ones that I felt gave me some kind of fright or creeped me out in some way. There have been others, but this is the list that I came up with. So I hope you guys enjoy these recommendations and let me know if you've read any of these books or if you're interested in reading them, comment down below so we can discuss them. So the first book that I'm going to talk about is one that I just recently did a reading vlog for and that is the Hocus Pocus novel. If you are not familiar, the Hocus Pocus novelization is basically just a book version of the movie Hocus Pocus. So if you do love that movie and you have seen it before, I still recommend reading it because there were a few subtle differences and it generally has that amazing Halloween vibe that small town Salem vibe that I know a lot of us crave during this time of year, so I would recommend reading it. I do plan to read the sequel this October, so I can't recommend it yet, but you guys will know how I feel about it coming soon. The next book that I want to recommend is Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. This is also a pretty new release. It came out, I think, in July of this year, and I read it back in July. Riley Sager is one of my all-time favorite thriller writers, so I honestly would recommend any of his books. But I do feel like Home Before Dark has more of an eerie, haunted kind of vibe going on. I think all of his stories have a mystery at like the forefront of their plot, and his first three books are more so mystery than they are feeling supernatural and horror-esque. I won't go into details about this other than the fact that it is about a family who moves into a haunted house and it takes place in two time periods back when the family lived in the house and then 20 years later when the daughter goes back to the house and tries to find out whether or not it really is haunted or if it isn't haunted. So I totally recommend this. I think that this has a lot of Haunting of Hill House vibes. So if you do like that show, I would definitely read this. The next book that I want to recommend is The Whisper Man by Alex North. I have read both of Alex North's books, The Whisper Man and the Shadows, I believe it's called, which is his most recent novel. And I do have to say The Whisper Man is far better in my opinion. I think the pacing of this book is a lot better. The story is just creepier and eerier. It is also like a detective kind of mystery in a way. It follows a man who is investigating the recent kidnappings and missing children that are supposedly connected to this infamous serial killer named the whisper man who comes and whispers to children while they sleep there were some moments in this book where i was generally freaked out where i was kind of like do i want to go to sleep right now or <laughs> should i just stay awake all night and i normally don't get creeped out by books as much as i do from like movies or tv shows but just some of the things that were discussed in here and like I said, the imagery just really like made me like really spooked. So I would highly recommend this one, especially if you like like detective procedurals. It's not only in that point of view, we also get the point of view of a father whose son is starting to hear whispers and he suspects that it is connected to that pillar as well. So it does give you multiple point of views and it's just, it has a lot of twists and turns as well. So. I highly recommend this one. The next book that I'm going to recommend is Burn Our Bodies Down by Rory Power. This was another new release from this summer and I read it, I filmed a whole reading vlog and lost all of my edits of that, so that sucks. <laughs> but I absolutely loved Burn Our Bodies Down. I thought that 
Yes, it is a slow burn and even though it is YA, it definitely does deliver some creepy and weird material, especially towards the end of the novel when you finally start to uncover secrets and learn some truths about the characters and about the history of this small town. There are some really weird things happening in this book that I would totally recommend you read this during this time because it really freaked me out and I think it would freak some other people out as well. It also takes place, like I said, in a small town and the town is surrounded by a giant cornfield or I think it's a cornfield. I'm pretty sure it's a cornfield, but they live on these farms and I feel like the setting works perfectly with the autumn season, so totally recommend this one. Yeah, the ending of this was just wild. <laughs> That's all I have to say. The next book I have to recommend is also one that I've read recently and if you watched my summerween reading vlogs you have already heard my thoughts on this book but i totally recommend you read clown in a cornfield during the halloween autumn season this is a slasher novel and i feel like that's all you need to know in order to pick this one up since there aren't very many slasher novels at least that i'm aware of so if you are like me and you love slasher movies totally read this one it is excellent it has to do with killer clowns it also takes place in a small town farming area and there are cornfields and creepy killer clowns and it is just a wild ride it also is a very like modern take on the Sasha genre it kind of reinvents the genre in a way in kind of the same way that movies like scream did for the slasher subgenre and I don't know, I just had a lot of fun with this one and I think anybody who picks it up during this time of year is also going to really enjoy it as well. The last three books that I have to recommend are actually more classic novels. Not like super classic, but I guess modern classics. And they are books that have turned into classic horror movies. So one of them is Psycho by Robert Bloch and Rosemary's Baby by... I was gonna say Chuck Palahniuk because he does an introduction and his name's at the bottom. And then I had to think for a second, I was like, wait, Chuck Palahniuk does not write this book. This is like before his time. I believe it's before his time. Um, but no, this is written by Ira Levin, I'm sorry. I just had a mental freak out for a moment thinking that it was written by someone else. But Rosemary's Baby and Psycho are both very famous and classic horror films. So if you do love famous classic horror films, I totally recommend reading the novel version first. For the past like five or six years or so, I've been on this like mission to read all of the famous horror movies that were first books and then watch the film. So I did do that with these two and I absolutely love them. They both have very, very creepy and weird vibes. If you don't know the story of Psycho, it takes place in a creepy motel and there are some murders and there is a creepy motel keeper and Rosemary's Baby is... <laughs> How do I explain this without spoiling it? Because if you don't know like what it's about, I feel like it would be kind of a shock for you. So this is about a woman who is pregnant and she and her husband move into this new building in Manhattan and they befriend their older neighbors. But as she goes on in her pregnancy, the woman starts to notice some weird changes about herself and their relationship with their elder neighbors. And basically, some creepy things start to happen and she finds out that there is a sinister plot involving the neighbors and her baby. And that's all I'm going to say. If you are a fan of anything cult-like or satanic, this is the book for you. And the movie is also very good as well. And the last book that I'm going to recommend is The Shining by Stephen King. I would really recommend almost every Stephen King book during this time of year. It for sure, but I don't know if you can finish it within one season because of how long it is. But I think The Shining is perfect for this time of year because it does deal with a haunted hotel and anything haunted and supernatural to me just screams Halloween. I would also recommend Pet Cemetery. I would also recommend Carrie. Those are some awesome Stephen King books that are perfect for this time of year, but The Shining just has something. <laughs> it has a shining. It has something that makes it extra creepy and weird. It is a bit of a slow burn and it is quite psychological in addition to it being supernatural, 
but I loved this book and I love the film as well and even though they are two completely different things I can appreciate both of them. So those are all of my Halloween fall recommendations and like I said there were so many other books that I wanted to include on this list. For example all of the Riley Sager books, Turn of the Key, American Psycho, the Exorcist. There were so many that I could have included, but I think that these are the ones that scream this time of year the most to me. And I don't know, I think it's just a feeling. I didn't really read all of these books during the Halloween spooky season. Some of them I read in the summer, some of them I read in the winter, but I think I would have enjoyed them more. Even though I love them all, I probably would have enjoyed them more if I was reading it during this time of year. I just I think there's something about reading and watching horror during the Halloween season, even though you could do it all year round, but it's just extra special during this time of year, so totally recommend you pick up any of those. I would also like to do a recommendation video for spooky and Halloween-like graphic novels, so definitely look out for that. That's something that I would like to film soon, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and my recommendations. Please let me know what are your plans for reading during this time of year. Do you have any books that you are looking forward to reading? Do you have a TBR? Is there anything that you've read before that you would recommend? Let me know down in the comments below, and thank you guys so much for all of the recent follows. I've just made it over like 400 subscribers recently, so Thank you guys so much. That is honestly a lot to me and I know it's like such a small milestone but it just makes me so happy and proud to see all of these new people following along and watching my videos and yeah definitely make sure that you guys are interacting and commenting with me. I love to talk about things with you guys and yeah that's pretty much it for this video. I will see you guys soon and I hope everybody has a wonderful day today. Bye guys!